What's up, Leo? This is Soul. And Leo, this is your uh, July 2018 love and relationship uh, reading messages. The messages will be for Leo uh, Moon and Leo Rising. Also, too, uh, I would like to say since, it, you know, I'm putting this up early since I want to take the entire month off of, you know, July off for myself because it's my birthday month. Um, and just because I need a, a freaking break, you know, I've been doing these videos uh, straight for uh, three and a half years. So um, I'm going to take advantage of um, some downtime. OK, just for me. Uh, anyway, I want to wish those Leos who are celebrating their birthday in the month of July a happy birthday celebration as well. OK, so this reading here, uh, as I begin and let me give you a little synopsis here. There's work that is still required on these relationships that some Leos that I'm about to read for are still dealing with. You know, you know, the, the six of cups in the reverse is showing up here. The three of swords is in the upright position following the six of cups. That means there's nobody grieving someone from your past or someone's grieving you from their past or the past relationship or yourself. Or are you simply refusing Um to go back to your past and uh, for some of you this is why the three of swords is in the upright position this could also be uh the three of swords showing up let me just hold it up so that you can see it. three of swords could indicate a love triangle or a painful um situation in dealing with a third party that's um in play now the third party that's in play could be uh information that you gainfully know about or you don't know about and can't understand why, you know, the relationship is so screwed up. So that could be the, you know, the situation. Three of Swords also um, being relative to Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, uh, male or female. And if there are exchanges, it doesn't really matter. Uh, relates to heartache, grief, loss, separation. Sometimes I pick up Three of Swords uh, energy in the upright position when it relates to possible uh, divorce. Uh, also to relationships that are overseas or at a distance you may still be together but there's something maybe it's the distance between you that brings on the three of swords energy all right but for the most part you know if i was ever going to pick out because i always equate this three of swords with the towers energy even though it's a minor and the tower is a major that there's uh you know things i pick up in what i see in terms of uh, the visual here in the card uh, yeah, so definitely she's uh, distraught because in the background, if you can see closer, there's this guy that's on his horse and he's he's going away. So that could mean so many different things. And like I said, this could represent, you know, somebody who is um, in the military, if I wanted to stretch it that far. And, you know, you're missing your your significant other. But the one positive and the only positive aspect of this three of swords that shows up is this dog that's right there. Uh, right at her, you know, her feet. So that means that it is dogs represents, you know, friendships and um, fidelity and um, all those things uh, associated with, you know, a dog, you know, a man's or woman's best friend. So there could be that, you know, if there are uh, things that are going on with you related to your relationships that you have somebody to support you okay to help you go through the grieving uh, process now i know i'm talking to a leo one or two of you possibly that ain't going back to your past okay this is the six of cups and this is the no answer to a return to someone from your past and i'm keeping this reading you know specifically um in connection with love and relationships you know i'm not incorporating any other uh, areas or aspects of your life and if I didn't mention it before this is for single Leos and couple Leos as well the information that is coming out so the six of cups is showing up underneath the um, overall energy for some of you for this upcoming month is the four of pentacles and it's you know the six of cups is underneath this four of cups I'm sorry this four of pentacles is withholding extremely the Four of Pentacles in a love reading is withholding extremely love and affection from another person. Or that person could be withholding extremely love and affection from you. Whether or not 
it is to you know directly related to Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. It doesn't really matter. I was getting a link here because of the fact that it's um, under the Six of Cups. This could be you know Leo not wanting to return to somebody who disappointed you. That's the Six of Cups in the reverse. Okay, created some sort of emotional stuff for you, so you're withholding. Someone may be trying to reach out or, you know, contact you, but you're withholding. You don't want to return. OK, you don't want to return because you already been through that. Been there, done that, as they, you know, they say. Definitely because the, you know, I always like to see the cups show up. And so far, you got two cups that are showing up here. The six of cups is in the reverse. And then you have the king of cups that crosses that four of pentacles. So I know it's someone who is extremely withholding love and affection towards um you're doing that to someone or someone's doing that to you. Now, the king of cups is cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female. Even though it's the king, it could represent female energies. I always get an older feel, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, but if that's the case, you know, this is what I'm picking up. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, emotions. Like I have said, there for some of you, there are still things that need to be worked out. You know, getting to the bottom of the truth is the page of swords. Okay, getting to the heart of the matter. Always the page of swords for me. This is a court card, so it could be, um, you know, dealing with someone who is younger than you. You know, whether or not they're Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. The good aspect of this uh, reading so far uh, let me get back here to the King of Cups, though. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female. And this is not, you know, paying too much attention to your uh, intuition, just feeling emotionally drained or down about uh, someone. Or they're doing this to you. They're draining you emotionally. And maybe this is why um, you're withholding that love and affection towards them. Because, you you know, you're trying to sort things out emotionally. They're trying to sort things out emotionally. So I'm almost picking up like a stalemate between a couple. Um, something is not quite right with a uh, Leo or two that I'm reading for. And it's, it's creating some sort of emotional, uh, you know, if the eight of cups was here in the reverse, I definitely would say an emotional imbalance. But the king of cups and the six of cups is also too in the reverse. So that's an emotional. So there could be some sort of um, not only emotional. I don't want to say that it's severe emotional stuff going on, but it could be uh, even more so. It could be because of the three of swords. And if I turn this card back up around three of swords is underneath the king of cups. All right. So there's a painful separation. Uh, it could also be since I want to keep this limited to romance and um, uh, relationships, other things going on. But I'm not going to discuss that. Uh, but there's a separation here. Uh, someone grieving very, very hard. And it's an actual person. So um, that could be the case. All right. So some kind of, you know, generosity coming your way. Still, you know, for the singles, this could be someone comes up and offers. Um, I wouldn't say offer. If you're single and you're looking to connect with someone, this is just a match made. Uh, not necessarily in heaven, but this could be a potential of energy that you may meet in the month of July. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female may be the direct energies, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. This is a card of generosity, but also, too, because I'm doing love and relationships, I have to equate the energy of the generosity uh, as a coming together in terms of possibly a new relationship or something else significant uh, involving an existing relationship. So whatever that is, someone, like I said before, has to get to the truth of the matter. I was getting... Uh, you see, with these court cards, outside of the page of swords, we have the king of cups in the reverse. And these are people. Then we have the queen of pentacles. She's in reverse. So there's something going on. And then the page, or I'm sorry, the queen faces the page of swords. So it could be a younger, uh, it could be an older Leo dealing with a, a younger 
could be an air sign. It could be uh, some just someone younger than you. All right. I wouldn't say that it has to be directly an air sign or it could be, uh, you know, an earth sign. But someone is. This is you, Leo, since I'm reading for you, this could be a female or male and it's in the reverse. So there's some sort of uh, with the pentacles, though, it relates to insecurity when they're in the reverse. All right. Some type of insecurity, uh, instability related to a relationship. Uh, could be um, insecure in terms of accusations being thrown at you or unfounded. Uh, or it, it, Now, if all of those things are taking place, and I'm doing your reading, this could be all of this energy that I said related to that person as opposed to you. But you might be uh, the person that's impacted by this energy here this is a person who um, is insecure oftentimes uh, unsteady and you know pinnacles relate to resourcefulness so this person is not really resourceful they come across as being materialistic really materialistic possessive in terms of possessions so they could be um, someone who is possessive over the relationship with you and, and Leos aren't having that because Leos don't like to be possessed or owned and I know because I have a brother who's a Leo and trust me <laughs> boy is he a damn true Leo? But I love him to death. Anyway, um, yeah, so this could be all of those things going on with the energy related to someone that you are dealing with, a partner or, you know, a relationship or a long-term relationship. I feel that it's, it could be a long-term relationship since the pinnacles always give me the uh, longevity or long-term, but there's something not steady or stable about it, or there's some sort of feelings or dealings of insecurities. There's possessiveness. Um, and then here the page is trying to uh, get to the heart of the matter of uh, possibly what's going on with this individual or the relationship in itself and how it impacts or infects you. The two of pentacles underneath that page is out of balance. Normally the page, I'm sorry, the two of pentacles that shows up in the reverse is a very good card because things return to normal, you know, equanimity and balance. Think of the two in terms of a relationship. So there's a relationship that's unsteady, pentacles, unsteady. This queen in the reverse, unsteady you know insecure so but then it could be you um wanting to know the truth or what's going on you know where where do you stand using that sword to get to the heart of the matter the problem or whatever so that you can return to some sort of normalcy the six of cups following the queen of pentacles is you know again cancer scorpio or pisces male or female so it could be that there's those uh energies wanting to return somebody's trying to return someone will be more than likely try excuse me more than likely trying to reach out to you uh leo from your past keep it to relationships only but this is a no answer and i create you know equate this six of cups in the reverse as i do with the nine of cups when it shows up and it's in the upright it's the yes answer to any romantic questions that you may have and this six of cups in the reverse is for me no to any returns of someone from your past all right but because it's here the month may present itself where past lovers are trying to um, you know, reach out or reconnect, make some sort of attempt to uh, contact you or uh, reconnect with you. Three of Swords right there. Boom. It's not happening. It's not happening because if a, a re, you know, a past relationship or you allow a past relationship to return, you want to get this Three of Swords energy. Okay. Because then, and what I'm trying to say here, Leo, is that their behaviors, whatever caused the pain in the first place, that there was a separation, is going to be met with the same. And it's going to be increased if you allow their energy to return. So 
if there are any Leos out there who are dealing with this energy, you know, my advice to you is not to be so desperate or appear to be desperate. And please don't take what I said as being negative um, because I'm more than likely trying to um, save you some grief in the long term, okay? They are going to, if you allow their energy to uh, permeate your space again, they're going to give you this Three of Swords energy and then it's going to be three uh, Six of Cups. Let down disappointment once again, okay? But it's your call. That's your free will. I'm just giving you advice and um, you don't have to take uh, the advice that I'm giving you, all right? So Two of Pentacles, Judgment, I'm sorry. Judgment follows uh, that and simply it's just, you know, could be connected with the page of uh, swords in itself. You know, what's hidden in the dark comes to the light when it comes to relationships. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, negative. It could be some sort of uh, something that you didn't know about yourself in terms of your relationship. And uh, it could be something that, um, you know, broadens the relationship or you discover about yourself. See, because there's two people up here. See, uh, this is the reason why I like using this deck. Because the deck in itself has so much descriptive information. Normally in the tarot decks, uh, judgment shows up. You just have, you have people at the bottom. And then you have, only have Gabriel, who is like, you know, usually tooting a horn. But there's no horn blowing going on here. There's two people representing a relationship. So I pick up different things. And even though the card says judgment... Uh, and, and, you know, I'm picking up several other things. So it could be uh, judgment shows up that, hey, even though you have all of this other stuff that's going on, that there's somebody who gets married, you know, in the month of uh, July. There's two people here and it looks like it's uh, this could be the wedding party or the invitees or and this could be the couple. So it could be that Leo gets, uh, you know, someone gets married. In the month of uh, July. Wow, I just picked that up. Hmm. And then it could be a small wedding or just a wedding that's, you know, family members or close friends. This could be, you know, a union between two people of the same sex. Remember, it's over uh, top of the Six of Pentacles in terms of uh, someone being generous or generosity being shown to you. There's so many things that are, um, you know, descriptive or what I could say in terms of this, this connection that I'm picking up right now. And then if I look at it, even though the Two of Pentacles follows the Judgment card, it's still two people. Okay. You were solo. Now, you know, someone possibly gets married or someone possibly gets this doesn't necessarily have to be a marriage. This could be also, you know, a connection of a new relationship as well. And you can look at the people or see the people below as, you know, people blessing the relationship or, you know, the marriage or the union or whatever. And then followed by that is the two. You were once one solo, now it's two partnerships. But I still will stick to what I said about someone being out of balance. Uh, some type of relationship is out of, you're juggling two things, two relationships or two things going on. Could be two situations. Um, but, you know, whatever it is that I'm picking up, it's it, it applied to your situation. All right. The Wheel of Fortune now is showing up in the reverse. Now, I have picked up something differently. With the Wheel of Fortune, because it was directly underneath, I feel, um, I think it was cancer. And to me, that was a completion of someone getting fortunate in terms of a, a new partnership or a new romantic um, relationship or a turning of events in an existing relationship. This here in a, a reverse position here is, again... Um, I could get a completion if you were going to follow me in sequence, uh, the top row being the first half of the month and then the bottom row being the second half that, um, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you a couple things. This could be a completion of a relationship 
based on the judgment card since it mirrors the judgment card it's a 10 think of the wheel continuously turning but now let's go back here let's mirror this uh, wheel of fortune to the uh, six of cups when i have explained if someone is trying to reach back or reconnect with you leo in the month of july that's going to turn out to be an unfortunate event for you okay remember i said the Three of Swords energy is here, coming after the Six of Cups. If you allow energy, uh, you can do what the hell you want to do, but if you allow energy uh, to return to you that has caused grief, pain, and suffering, then you're going to get hit with again tenfold if you allow their energy to come back. Some things are just left to be left alone, okay? Not reinvited. But uh, I'm just a reader. And uh, like I said before, you can do what you want to do. But hmm. it's just rehashing of the same shit. Different days, same shit. All right. So pay attention to this will of fortune. This is not a, it could be a completion of a relationship that's formed. Right. But it also could be some sort of unfortunate event. Remember this misfortune. Oftentimes in the reverse position, unless I pick up something directly uh, in connection to, you know, say something differently. But this is underneath a person and some a very unfortunate. Maybe it's an unfortunate thing that whatever's going on with this person and it's not related to your energy that they can't seem to get their shit together. OK, maybe that's the unfortunate uh, stuff that I'm picking up. So however, it applies to you, Leo. But this is what I have for you. And of course, um you know, take it uh, with a grain of salt. I just feel that the general uh, theme for uh, the Leos that I'm reading for is still a work in progress on relationships. OK, however, it impacts you anyway, incorporating Vera Sibylla still either. This could be a standalone message or it could be however you want to apply it uh, to get a better understanding. But this is the uh, Mesurajari or Mesurajari. And basically, uh, that might not be pronounced right, but it's the messenger in this uh, Vera Sibylla book. It's the deck. Yeah, it's the Jack of Diamonds. And so they didn't really have anything specific related to uh, love. But I chose this card for you, Leo, in the upright position. So it's positive. Actually, it's, it, it's so many meanings. It has so many meanings <laughs> that I just had to go through the book and just... Um, Select the one that I felt that was most appropriate or could be appropriate for you. OK, but it's so much information that it's uh, unreal anyway. So what I have selected in terms of the information, it just says here the 11 of diamonds or the jack of diamonds is linked to the action of sending. And then, you know, the messenger is self-explanatory. It could be a postman or a news uh, exchange of news receiving. And this is what it says. It says it could be. Linked to the action of sending or receiving something or the arrival of someone. So that could be someone arriving, uh, news arriving. This could also be, you know, communication. Uh, this, you know, I just going back from the book and stuff. It says it could be a mediator, somebody uh, being a go between uh, in terms of a messenger or. But I didn't want to extend it that far. And so it's not really, you know, this is just a neutral card. So it could be that there's some sort of uh, news going out, news coming in uh, in the month of July. Uh, but I always, uh, you know, associate it, excuse me, I always associate this though with positive uh, energies. Okay, the Jack of Diamonds is not negative. And for some strange reason, you know, like in the background, there's homes and stuff and he's looking like he's a mail carrier. So there could be some important news. Uh, coming your way it could also be if i was going to broaden the uh reading and stretch the message and connect it with this three of swords as i mentioned before sometimes the three of swords relates to uh divorces someone could be you know waiting for divorce papers you know just to give you an example okay but it's not negative it, well if divorce papers are negative i guess i have to take that back and eat my words but anyway it says it refers to uh, something that will uh, soon be a part of the querent's life. Querent being you, Leo. And is connected to the ideal of speed, rapid change, and velocity. So somebody's 
something's coming Leo's way very, very fast. Now, this could be a rival of someone new or this could be news that you've been waiting for and keep it connected to uh, romance, love, relationships, okay? News on its way. And also to equate that, I would equate that with the eight, eight of wands, ace of wands, and the uh, page of wands. News and surprises. Okay? Texting, communication, phone calls, all those things. All right, Leo, that's what I have for you. I hope it's helpful and beneficial. I uh, do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming month ahead full of love and light. Safety, always emphasizing safety. Until I talk to you again, Leo, please be well. Bye.